Hi and welcome to my place. I've had a request from Samantha in the UK wanting to know if I had a really quick and easy way of designing with forget-me-nots. Aren't they just gorgeous? I love this lovely little white one and I must thank my friend Linda Columbus because she originally gave me the plant and honestly it is just everywhere. It is the most prolific self-seeding little spring flower that ever was. Right Samantha I have a great idea for you and I'm looking at just having that the little flowers on their own and if you're looking for a really simple standalone little display I think that this is just very very cutesy pie and what we're going to do is we're going to focus on using some accessories so I've got this lovely plate here now if you can't get this plate um, it, or you're looking to buy one um, I did find mine at Amazon and they come in about six different sizes and all different colorways but um, reds and whites blacks and whites but I really love this gorgeous pattern now if you're stuck and you can't achieve that, what you can do is get some t uh, paper towels or napkins and what you can do is take the little, the two bottom bits off, hold on, let me just see if I can get those, rip the, the bottom bits off and then just apply on the reverse of your plate some Mod Pods or some PVA glue and then just very gently just lay that on top of that and then just smooth it out so that you get rid of all of those crinkles and that pattern will be transferred through to the front. So there's a solution and a nice little quick and easy craft project if you're looking to achieve these yourself. The other thing I've found is a really lovely black candlestick which I'm going to put onto there like so. Plus I've got this little tiny baby little um, fish bowl and I've filled that with some black marbles. I don't think we'll need all of those but I just thought that the black on black would be quite, or the black on white would be quite nice. Then into the marbles and into your little dish put a little bit of water, nice clean water and then I've got a whole heap of little forget-me-nots. I've stripped as much of the foliage off as I can because it's the foliage that will make your water go all stagnant and will make the flowers go off quickly. And then they could just sit into there like that. How quick and easy is that? Beautiful way of displaying a simple little spring flower that I am sure would look lovely on any wedding table. And how easy is that? Cost effective, flowers on a budget. I hope you've enjoyed that. And I just love those little forget-me-nots. Thanks for watching and I'll see you another day. Thank you.